Today I'm looking at this illuminated multi-power head magnifier uh, from a company I guess called SE uh, and this is model MH1047L. Uh, this is something I picked up on Amazon uh, a couple of days ago. I think it was around seven or eight dollars. Uh, I've wanted one of these for electronic work for a while and I uh, just hadn't remembered to uh, include one on, a, on an Amazon order when I was placing one so finally got around to uh, remembering to do that. Anyhow, I guess we'll uh, go ahead and open the box here and see what's inside. Okay, and as you can see it looks like just the magnifier there as one would expect. Wrapped in some plastic and here is the unit. And it looks pretty much as I expected. Um, the thing is made completely of plastic. Even these uh, little adjustable thumb screws. No, I guess these are metal. I thought they might have been plated plastic. Okay, so these thumb screws pretty much just adjust the angle of the headband. So you put this on your head and then if you wanted to keep it at a certain angle or adjust the, the friction, you'd tighten these up and uh, you'd still be able to pivot this but it might stay you know in one position on your head. If you need to adjust the circumference of the headband it looks like this knob is what you'd use to turn to do that. Okay and it's a little stiff but you can kind of see, well maybe you can't, you can see as I turn it the headband gets bigger or smaller. So in the front you can see that it's got the the main magnifying lenses and uh, you know for your eyes and then it's got a dual LED headlamp here that can turn on and off. I presume there's no batteries in there at the moment or either that or they're dead. And then a little steerable uh, kind of lever here so you can change the angle of these LEDs which uh, that's kind of a neat feature um, but everything's just a little bit cheaply made the whole thing is you know constructed of plastic for the most part so uh, you know it's not the most rugged feeling thing in the world but I think it uh, it'll be secure enough and for the price it's about what I would expect okay so you can see I popped that off just by uh, turning this so that these oblong pegs slid up out of these grooves that are here and the reason I slid this out was to access the battery compartment that's here and you can see that just takes uh, a couple of AAA batteries so alright so I'll throw a couple of AAA's in here and I guess I had the switch in the on position but you can see there's the LEDs and then the little steering lever so that you can direct them where you might need them. So I'll put the battery cover back on. If I can get it to slide. This is not the most precisely made thing that's ever come out of China but there we go. So the battery case is back on. I'll slide this back in. There we go. And then turn that back down. And once again, there's the lights. Okay, so now looking at the lenses, you can see there's a kind of a monocle here on one side for extra magnification. And then you've got the main lens, which is actually two sets of lenses. So this will flip down and each set of these lenses is uh, 1.9x. I'm not sure why they couldn't just make them 2x, but um, the package says they're 1.9x magnification. So presumably, you know, with one you'd have 1.9, and when you put them together, flip this back up and clip it in place, you'd have roughly, you know, 4x, and then the uh, 
the uh, monocle or loop uh, gives you an additional four and a half x of magnification. So overall, um, not bad. Um, you know, maybe not as good as a um, you know like a desk lamp with a magnifier in it or something like that. But uh, this is convenient in so much as that you can keep it on your head and out of the way. There wouldn't be anything on on the desk to get in the way of the work. Okay, so I don't know how well this is going to work for demonstration purposes, but you can see here I've got an old uh, sound card, sound blaster card, and uh, I'm going to start off with just single lens, so that's 1.9x, and uh, you can kind of see the difference, I think, in the camera. So not bad, and it's all reasonably clear optics, you know, given that the whole thing is made of plastic. Of course, it won't be the most durable thing in the world. It'll get scratched and, and probably hazy over time, but... Okay, so there it is with the secondary lens flipped down. So that's roughly 4x magnification. Um, and it's, kind of, it's hard for me to get everything lined up here, but you can kind of see how it looks in the camera. Again, this is not a scientific test by any means, but you can kind of see that it's doing something and it's relatively clear and then last adding in the monocle will give you roughly an eight and a half x magnification and I'm having some trouble here getting getting in with the light the lighting is kinda of giving me trouble but and I almost forgot the uh, little built-in light there as you can see that kinda of helps at least with the camera angle anyway and uh, of course I need three hands or maybe a tripod to do this but if I kinda hold this up and try and steer the the LED there with the little lever you can kinda see and uh, where it's kinda pointing it, it kinda looks like it's it mispointed with the camera but that's just because of the way I'm trying to hold the camera away from the lens but in uh, in reality the the LED is actually kinda aimed correctly and it, uh, it surprisingly, it does seem to help a little bit. I was kind of thinking that was sort of an added, added gimmick, but it does seem to be, and it even does seem to help a little bit, even with the, uh, the extra magnification of the the monocle there. Okay, and then I've tried putting this on my head, and uh, tightened up the the headband, and a couple of things to note: it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. Uh, this is all kind of hard plastic here. This in the front, which would go on your forehead, is a little bit softer and pliable, but the back is, you know, a little bit stiff. So this isn't something that you're going to want to wear all day long. And then another thing that I kind of noticed was even with these thumb screws on the sides kind of tightened up about as much as I can go, when I put this on my head, the weight of this thing still wants to kind of tip back down. It, unless I have it all the way up so you know you can't keep it you know at a 45 degree angle or anything like that because as you move your head as you can see it's gonna wanna just come back down on you so if you're gonna flip it up you gotta flip it all the way up and keep it up you can't just keep it in kind of a half position as you can see there so again not to not totally unexpected but um, but it would have been nice if that you know would have locked in a little better I guess that'll just about do it for uh, this SE illuminated multi-power head magnifier. Um, overall, my opinion of this thing is that it is uh, pretty much worth what I paid for it, um, which was about seven or eight dollars. Um, as I showed, you know, the build quality is acceptable. It's not great, but for the seven or eight dollars, it's about what you would expect. Um, the, uh, the unit seems perfectly functional. Um, I think it'll do what it's intended to do and, uh, you know, do it well. I, I guess, um, you know, kind of the words cheap and cheerful would, would be the ones to describe this thing. Um, you know, you can use this thing for what it's intended for and not worry about breaking it or scratching it or, or anything like that. If, if you were to ruin the thing, you could just order another one for, for seven or eight dollars. Um, you know, long-term comfort. Um, you know, this isn't something you're going to wear all day. 
Um, you know, it's something for a short job here and there and, you know, intermittent use. Um, you know, if you're going to be using something like this eight hours a day or something, then, uh, you know, I'd spend the money and get, uh, you know, something a little bit better. But uh, but overall, bang for the buck, this thing is uh, is pretty decent. Like I said, cheap and cheerful. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do so. Thanks for watching.